Danny, let's have it. You bank the gale. Who wins and why? <laughs> right. You see, it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. Uh, for me, I, when I heard about it, I thought, Jesus Christ, is this actually happening? And I thought, is this actually going to happen? It is, it is happening. Now, big fan of Eubank, always have been. Just followed its career from when it, when it set off, you know. But you can't deny uh, the Gale. He's a, his offence, his quality, he's a really good count puncher. You know, he has got it all. I think, to be honest with you, there is going to be a knockout, but I honestly, I can't predict the fight. I, I'd probably say, if I'm going to be honest, I'd say you bank maybe late rounds with, with a body shot. And that's what I do think. Um, I just think like but Eubank's got that sheer aggression, the the, the spite in his punches to hurt the gay up. But taking nothing away from the gay at the end of the day, he's an awesome boxer. You know, he's, he's really um, precise in what he does. But I just think um, Eubank would just edge it on the sheer aggression part of it and he, he is learning. I mean, I think he can go to that next level. And, you know, a lot of people say, can can Eubank go to the next level? And I think he can. Um, obviously, we've seen him lose on uh, against Groves, but you know, you learn from that. I think he's going to learn from that and realise, you know, you can't just come in with a big ups and uppercuts. So, for me, it's Eubank in the late rounds. So that's what I'm giving. All right, cheers, mate. You're very welcome. Right. What are you making a group? <laughs> yeah, go on. It's right. trademark. Is that your trademark? Yeah, so, what, yeah. doing an interview with the brew? Yeah, it's yeah. a coffee right. though. Yeah, it'll do. <laughs> it's more the effect, Lee. Yeah. Are we on? Right, let's get the coffee in as well yeah. then. I mean, sorry, the tea. Yeah, it's yeah. the tea. Coffee. It's this, one, this one's a coffee, but uh, I, I, I usually am a Let me ask man. you, Nate. Prediction time. Go on. The Gale Eubank, who wins, how and why? Right, well, I'm not a Chris Eubank fan. Don't think he's good enough at the uh, world level. The Gale's not as good as he was, but I'm biased towards the Gale because he's a, a good boxer and I like good boxers. Um, if he sticks to a, a boxing game plan and just, or if he just boxes naturally off instinct, I think it should be enough to beat Chris Eubank. What Chris Eubank has got in his favour is he's obviously a, a bit of a machine. He can give it out, he's got a high work rate. If he uses that against the Gale and the Gale isn't what he was or he gasses a little bit or whatever, then obviously a fight's a fight and, and Eubank can win it. But I'm picking the Gale, me. Going for the Gale, yeah, points yeah, win? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not going to knock him out, is he? Wouldn't have thought so anyway. I think he'll win on points. Right, cheers, Nathan. Appreciate it. No, exactly. Thank you. Lee, talk to me. To Gail Eubank, how does it go? It's a tough one to call in it for me, but it depends which to Gail turns up. If 100% the Gale turns up, I think he wins comfortably on points. I don't think he'll stop him, uh, but he's not been he's not been the best.